Welcome guys, in this video I am going to show how to abort a fetch request in react. For this demo I have an input box which uh, user can choose a file input and then uh, for you guys to uh, have a demo I am just going to throttle my uh, network speed so that uh, we see the progress. So let's choose an image, uh, let's upload it. So once we cancel it, I am aborting that request. So I am going to show how to do that in uh, react. So for this I have a sample application that is uh, designed with this uh, HTML. So this is the uh, tutorial I am going to develop for you guys. So let's go and check the code. So here uh, we have a fetch request and input box. So once we have a change callback in that we are using fetch request to upload the file to the server. It's, it's going to be a post request since we are uploading a file on that. So uh, here uh, we have a cancel option when uh, the user is actually uploading the data to the server. So let's go ahead and uh, create a cancelable request for this. We are going to use about controller from JavaScript and to use that I'm going to create a use ref. Uh, we need to store the reference to about controller for each request that we are triggering from uh, the front end. For this purpose, I'm using a useref and initializing that with null. And then we use this about controller and as an option for fetch request, we need to pass signal. So that comes from this about controller. So let's instantiate uh, the about controller in uh, next step. So I'm, I'm using that signal for about control. And then now I uh, instant here, I create an uh, instance of about controller and assign that to about controller use ref. I'm going to store that for future uh, use. Let's say if user wants to cancel it, we need to call about function from uh, this about controller. So that I'll, I'll show it in some time. So next step would be uh, creating a cancel function for this. That would directly invoke about function from the about controller. So here I'm going to check if the about controller is not null because uh, that should have a value for that the object that we created for uh, about controller class so dot about so this is the function that will actually about your our, uh, fetch requests so i'm going to call this function when user clicks on a cancel button so that button has already been displayed when uh, the upload is in progress so on click callback I'm going to call that cancel function that's it guys uh, so the logic for uh, aborting fetch request is completed and one more thing if you want to catch this in our uh, uh, the fetch request we can use uh, the name of that to match with uh, about error if that was the case then a user has actually cancelled uh, the request using about controller so if you want to show some different message to the user we can show it using this one So let's go ahead and uh, throttle the request uh, the network and then I'm going to upload a file now. So let's cancel it. By now you can see that uh, the request has been cancelled and uh, it was captured in the cache. Catch. So now uh, let me try to upload another image and you can see the same thing. I can cancel that again. It will cancel for each request because we create a new about controller for each and every request that we generate. 